reports of sex assaults on the nation's college campuses have increased, and that's true in Maryland. And Attorney General Doug Gansler today released a report detailing ways to reduce sexual assaults on the state's campuses. Diane Cho is live at the University of Maryland College Park with Gansler's proposals. Diane? Well, Maureen, some of those recommendations mentioned in this report address the need to establish a relationship between alcohol and consent, but the Attorney General also stresses the importance of changing the student culture here on campus. It is estimated that one in five women are sexually assaulted while in college, but only 13% are reported across the U.S. The White House put a spotlight on the issue this year, creating a task force to try to keep students safe. People want something done about that. They don't want to send their daughter off to college and think that nobody is going to do anything about whether or not she becomes a victim of sexual assault. The Maryland Attorney General released his report today of best practices and policies for universities and colleges across the state targeting the issue. The report shows in 2013 there were 19 reported forcible sex offenses at the University of Maryland in College Park. From 2009 to 2013, that total was 45. McDaniel College also had 19 cases last year. Statewide at public and private institutions, along with community colleges and religiously affiliated schools, there were 340 reported from 2009 to 2013. The attorney general believes the numbers are going up because the stigma is being reduced. I think it's the key is comfort, is making an environment where it's comfortable to talk about it. One of the recommendations highlighted in this report includes changing the culture on college campuses, encouraging students to intervene. If you see somebody uh, who's drunk at a party and certainly can't defend themselves or couldn't consent, making sure it is your problem. And if it's your friend, talk to that person to make sure they get home safely. The report also spells out state and federal laws that apply to campus sexual assault. Currently, there are more than 80 colleges and universities across the country being investigated for handling the, their handling rather of these cases and potential violations of federal law. Reporting live from College Park, Diane Cho, ABC 7 News. Thank you.